What up, y'all? See Young Avell back at it with another video. I hope you guys have been well. I'm here with the lovely Elena again, back at it. You already know the deal. So, we got a great topic today that was actually brought to me by Elena. Uh, it has to do with taking control of your dreams, your goals, and basically assuming control for the direction of your life. And there are a couple pitfalls that come with that if you don't go about it a certain way. So the main, one of the main things is establishing boundaries because when you pick a direction, when you want to go somewhere in life, you're going to inevitably be faced with obstacles. So I know you're talking about recently something you had to deal with, something that you're learning in terms of that saying that magic word, not yes, but no. Yes, sometimes we have to learn how to say no because it's very important in our life to put boundaries um, towards those negative events or in front of those people that preventing us from achieving our goals and um, creating those obstacles in front of us every day. So saying no, putting boundaries, explaining them early in a state of that occurring uh, when it happens. Uh, saying no is very important because um, what happens later it can lead us to um, disappointment, let's say. Uh, we want to say no, but we're kind of like, oh, I'm pathetic mm -hmm. towards a person. We don't want to say no, but we do. <laughs> so basically, we're kind of like, uh, mm, well, okay, okay. And let that person in our life. The person starts controlling our life in a way, and um, it's not what we want. So what happens, um, we become a bit depressed. And um, we you basically, not, you basically are like following this person's direction now. Yes, we we we're, we're not realizing where we're going because we did we do not know how we came to that point. So it's very important knowing what we want and saying no uh, early, early um, before anything happens. Yeah, and that um. That leads us right to our next point, like, boundaries are almost like, uh, the strength of the boundaries goes hand in hand with the strength of the direction that you choose in terms of knowing your direction. And this is why it's very important to clearly define your goals, clearly know what you want, because just like how she was saying, if you don't know what you want, it's going to be very easy for somebody to come in or something. It could be, it could be as, e as simple as a, a, a negative comment on something. If you don't have a strong enough, clearly defined direction of like, no, I'm going for this no matter what, that it's going to be super easy for someone to come take you off of that course. So... It's like a universal thing in success where a universal truth is you got to know clearly exactly what you want. And the funny thing about the obstacles is I remember you were telling me it's not even about these obstacles don't, it's not like something big out there is, is, is the obstacle. It's something that you actually find yourself allowing in. So it's, it's, it's on... It's like a self-imposed obstacle because of your lack of willingness to say no. But like you said, it's because some of the time we're compassionate, you know, we're em empathetic. And yeah, so you can build on that if you want. I know that's something you like. Sometimes we're empathetic, but sometimes we're a bit lazy. So it's like, it can happen. Um, Let's say we don't want to really go to disappoint somebody. We're people pleasers. So we have to remember, stop pleasing everyone in our life. Because mm -hmm. they do not really care 
um, about what the goal is, your goal is, but they care about their goals. So it's basically, you have to look at it like this. All right, um, when you say no firmly, not disrespectfully, but firmly, um, you're setting the boundaries and they cannot come in into that door anymore because it's just done. So, and if they do, um, well, you have to fight for it. You, have you to gotta fight make that boundary goals. strong. <laughs> so let's say that you do have your boundaries set, you do have your goals set, your direction set. So I want to know what is your morning routine in terms of what you see for yourself, in terms of what you want to attract and what you want to build for yourself. I know you're in school now, you're, you're in school, so you got a map of your next moves. Yes. Um, usually when I wake up in the morning, I just try to visualize every, at least 10 minutes of my next step of what, how I'm going to achieve, uh, come towards the end of the day mm -hmm. and achieve as much as I can in order to come towards the long-term goals achievement. And um, so basically I see like, I, ha I have to see myself waking up really positive and going to the kitchen and making this great breakfast. And mm -hmm. I know it sounds uh, very positive, but uh, it, it really works. Um, but at the same time, um, I have to feel it, of course. Uh, positivity and how I'm going, writing these emails and um, doing these phone calls and everything's just happening how I want to, not just how whatever want, whatever can happen. And it's very important to visualize and feel how you want it. Mm -hmm. And how, and, and that will help you to say no during just events when they're occurring. Let's say people coming in and start like stopping you and you're like, uh-uh. It's not how I visualize it. Hello, right. and like no, and cut it off, cut off that person mm -hmm. out of your life, out of your own um, vision, out of the whole situation, or cut off that circumstance, circumstances, out of the whole scenario. Yep. It's funny. It's funny. <clears throat> I think we underestimate the power of visualization, mm -hmm. especially in the morning. Like right now, I'm reading. Like I told you guys before, I'm reading the magic of thinking big and so much good stuff in there. I highly recommend it. I'll read that, I'll read like a chapter, underline some stuff, or I'll look at uh, my goals of what I got and I'll just either read them out loud or I'll write them, or I'll listen to some affirmations. And this is all before I've even looked at my phone. If I look at my phone when I wake up, it puts me automatically in a space of reaction and the day is brand new. Why would you want to start the day in a space of reaction when this is your day? You know, the, this is the premise of this video. This is your life. you got to move about it in a certain way to get results. So this brings me to my next point. I watched a video uh, a couple months ago called Think Like a Grandmaster. And it was basically, to make a long story short, it was basically like a lot of people just know their next like two to three moves. But a grandmaster, talking in terms of chess now, a grandmaster is aware of their next 15 moves. I bet you if I ask you guys what's your next 15 moves, you probably get to like five or six. I hope you get to 15. I'd be great. I don't even know if I could get to 15, but it's something to think about where it's like, because remember, in terms of the universe, one of the universal truths for success, clearly define your goals. You got to take actionable steps towards your goals. Uh, I actually got a vision board today. Vision board. I ordered a, a vision board, you know, the boards where you put like the pictures and there of things that you want, you know. Mm -hmm. A couple of my friends have them and they really work. So nice. I think that that's going to aid visualization because, mm -hmm. yeah, like, like you said, another thing, uh, it's like almost like visualization is almost like an automatic boundary. Like, so 
when someone oversteps that boundary, you're like, wait, I didn't visualize my day going this way, so mm -hmm. take a step back. So, I know one more thing that you wanted to touch on was those people, because right now, let, let's say people, for example, that overstep boundaries, those people that might not even be aware that they're doing it and kind of are like in a narcissistic uh, mind frame, mm -hmm. they're really just lacking, well, can explain a little bit more. What we're talking with TJ is some people, they're prone towards seeking more power. They're just, uh, because they, they feel like they lack love, or maybe they don't even understand they lack enough love, and their subconscious mind is consistently um, blocking them from self-love, and what they're seeking is power. So basically, uh, this kind of people will prevent us from our self-love, mm -hmm. and it will be easy to do if we don't know our boundaries, and we don't have that strength to say no and block them, and com not compete, but like push them off. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and it's very important to just um, remember that we're all worth of love. We're all worth of love. Um, we are special. We're special people on this earth. And um, we have to remember that. We have to remember putting some our conscious mind everywhere. Stop the fears and the anxiety preventing us from going towards our goals. Because that will will block us from saying no to those people or events or some kind some some energies or just something will be uh, preventing us uh, from moving forward. Being great, being productive, being um, doing what we want to do, and um, going towards success. All right, love yourself. That's directly tied to this is your life, your goals. You got to take action, and just like we were saying, establish those boundaries. Establish those boundaries, but clearly know what you want because we got one life here at least in this lifetime and we can do whatever we want with it so let's do what we want with it what we want because we're worth it so that's all we really wanted to talk about today i think we touched on everything that we wanted to touch on yes love so. ourselves love others respect ourselves respect others basically underline the whole scenario point. And make it crack. You got something you want? Go after it, because you can do it. So the link is in the description. The link is in the description. You already know. So if you got anything from this video, be sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, remember, your greater perspective can lead to a greater connection.